What's going on everyone? KKN Comics here and uh, had the day off from work today and uh, have a lot of books um, piling up that I want to do, you know, a haul from um, past couple weeks. These are from a long while ago. I don't really even know the time frame. And as a matter of fact, as I, was, as I was going through them, I don't even remember where all of them came from. But uh, I'll try to as I go through it. Um, but, you know, I've been picking up some cool books that I'm going to show at a later date. Some nice, uh, real nice keys. But uh, first and foremost, uh, if you watch my free comic book holiday video, this is the figure uh, that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, this is the Kimurashi Kaji, the Jinx figure from the 2012 uh, San Diego Comic Con. Beautiful, beautiful figure. Um, let me get out of this chair. I don't know why I always sit in it. Uh, beautiful figure. And... Uh, Really, really happy to have. Um, now, I was going to a garage sale a couple weeks ago. And uh, I don't pick up pops often. But I saw this and for five bucks, there's like a little nick on the back. But, I mean, for anyone who was born... Um, for anyone who... I don't know enjoys Christmas or the holidays. Uh, Clark Griswold holding his moose eggnog figure. I mean, I don't pick up pops that often, but I, I couldn't pass that one up. I loved it. Um, and if I pick up a pop, I really have to like it. So, uh, pretty cool there. So, uh, as the books, I got a lot of books. I'm going to run through it. So, um, here we go. Uh, these next... Uh, Four books are from uh, a trade I did. Well, not really a trade. Uh, Tom Ryan, my man Tom Ryan. I'll put his link in the description. Um, you know, I sent him a couple books and he sent me some books back. J. Scott Campbell stuff. He loves I love G.I. Joe. So, there you go. Uh, G.I. Joe number two. J. Scott Campbell cover. Gen 13, number 12. J. Scott Campbell cover. Really, really nice book. Danger Girl number one. J. Scott Campbell. So, pretty awesome. And this one, right here, Thor number five, the variant, uh, J. Scott Campbell. So, thanks, Tom. Uh, appreciate all the support you've given me and uh, look forward to chatting with you soon. Next books, I'm just going to run through them. These are, uh, well, this book, I don't have a crept in here. Uh, CBLDF presents Elephant Man Shots number one, J. Scott Campbell cover. Um, this book goes on a good day, like 10, 12 bucks. Um, happy to find that, found that for a buck. And then these next books, um, see, I'm all out of order here, guys. Bear with me. Um, Art Ops, number seven. Great book. If you're not reading Art Ops, do yourself a favor. Read it. Um... Beautiful, beautiful cover here, David Mack. Kabuki, The Alchemy, number one. Uh, painted cover, found that one awesome for a dollar. Archer and Armstrong, right there. That's pretty awesome. That, I believe, is... Oh, gosh, I forget. Uh, it's the 8-bit variant. Uh, forget the number. It's on the back side. I've uh, been looking for this book for a while. Don't ask me why, but it was on my want list. Daughters of the Dragon, first issue. Jimmy Palmiotti, number one uh, of six. And yeah, here we go. Oh, so here's, here's stuff starting from my pull. Harley Quinn, number 26, first cameo of Red Tool. Uh, here are those other two copies of 27, first full appearance of Red Tool, the John Romita Jr. cover. Here's the regular cover. Uh, I guess 28 is also, uh, they're, they're really pushing Red Tool, so we'll see how it goes. Um, put this on my pull. Uh, Weavers. Kind of cool. It's like a, a family. Um, it's kind of uh, Spider meets Sopranos. This family is uh, like mafioso type and, and they get bitten uh, by these spiders that, that give them kind of extra sensory stuff. I don't know. It, it was pretty good. You know, I don't really like to give too much. Uh, number 17 of Deathstroke. Uh, what is it? A Tyler Kirkham uh, cover. Pretty awesome. 
Here we go. Do, 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 do. Not that one, no. Continuing Saga 36. I think that's the last issue of Saga for a while. Batman 51. Uh, Capullo cover. Um, I have 52. I got it yesterday, but I'm not going to show that in this one. So, um, as we continue, you know, there are certain runs that I'm actively working on now. Scalped is one of them. And if I find them, and when I work on runs, I, I don't buy them just to fill them. I buy them and try to find good prices to fill them. Um, so, if I find a scalp book in a bin, $2 or dollar bin, regardless of condition, I'm going to buy it. So, I'm very happy about this one. This is a $2 find. Scalp number four. Beautiful, beautiful jock cover. Uh, scalp 29 for a dollar jocked cover. Jocked. Jock cover. 30. Jock cover. 31. And number 32. Guys, I've been saying it forever. Um, if, if they do the show right, Scalp could be Scalp could be an unbelievable, unbelievable show. It is by far my favorite series from this, I can't I get to say, this century. <laughs> uh, I love it. Jason Aaron, his, God, he writes such a good story. If you haven't read Scouts, pick up the trade, read it. it, it you will follow an Aram Guerra, it, just his artwork. It's tough to, it's tough to see often because the colors are so dark and so monotone, but it's so poignant and, and just, you guys, you gotta watch, you gotta look at it. Uh, you gotta look at it. Uh, this next book, I've been looking for this book for a while in, in high grade, and uh, I saw it, and I just looked at everything except the bottom right-hand corner. Um, G.I. Joe number 59, the first appearance of Jinx. Beautiful book, except on the bottom right. I can't believe I didn't see it. There's at least a two-and-a-half, three-inch color break crease, so <clears throat> that's, uh, that's that. Uh, G.I. Joe, number 48, first appearance, start and slaughter. Minor key, I guess, minor key. Um, G.I. Joe, number 66. You know, I'm, I'm, I love to find G.I. Joe books. It's difficult. Um, but to find them... Like, I, I could go on this rant all the time. To find them in high grade for a good price is difficult. They were read. They were popular. It was a great series. Um, this book is in great condition, except for, you know, right here on, 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 the, on the price stamp. It's just, it's got color, color problems. But here's what it is. Uh, we'll get it. First, uh, uh, first print. And G.I. Joe, number 63, uh... G.I. Joe 63 is the um, first appearance of uh, first appearance of Corporal Olga, I believe. First appearance of Min also. Don't quote me. Um, but this book is one of two books in the G.I. Joe run, along with 21, the first Storm Shadow, that actually has a third printing. Uh, this is a first printing. Remember, third prints, they're, they're not... They're not uh, the rare ones. You want the first print. This book is in great condition. New stand also. But it does have like this crease like running right here. Um, what can you do? Alright, now we'll get into some keys. Uh, I'm pretty much all over this train right here also. Uh, I'm going to try and find it. And, um, you know, if it's in good condition, I'm going to purchase it. I found this one, I think, for like six bucks. And it's the boys number two, the first appearance of Mother's Milk, uh, the Frenchman, and the female of the species. And, um, you know, but in the run, it's going to be this book. This book here, the boys number three, which is the first appearance of the Homelander, uh, Queen Maeve, the Deep, Starlight, and Black Noir. Um... Found that one for, I think, five also. The Boys, number seven, first appearance of this man right here, the legend. There's two covers to this one. This is the most, the more desirable cover right here. 
for sure. And then this book, uh, The Boys Number 38, is going to be, if it's a key, it's going to be a key because of the cover. Um, the female of the species is more deadly than the male. It's a beautiful, beautiful dark cover. That book right there is so, so clean. White and black and the green. A fucking beautiful cover. I was so happy to find that. Tough book to find. Um, yeah, I found some pretty nice keys. I mean, this is, you know, decent. Descender number one. Jeff Lemire, Dust in the Wind. Found that one for five bucks. Pretty cool find there. Just going to run these off. Batman 616 continuing on my Hush storyline. Check it out. Right here. Found a decent one. A decent one. First printing of G.I. Joe 59. First appearance of Jinx. And, uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. These next books, um, are from a play uh, called Book Off, and it's in kind of everywhere, and sometimes you find it, uh, sometimes you find decent stuff, but you gotta really look in their bins, like, they don't even have bins, they have, um, they have, like, just bookshelves, so the books are awkwardly placed, they're standing up, and you have to go from, you can't pull them normally, but I found some decent stuff, um, that I'm happy about, I suppose. Um, shout out to Y85, my man. Found that one for a dollar. Brightest Day number 10, the 1 in 10 variant. Um, first appearance of, uh, what's his name? Uh, Death Storm, first appearance of Death Storm. Love this book right here for a buck. Creature Commandos number 1, awesome, new, new stand. This was a cool book. This was a cool book. Hit Monkey, number one, one shot. This book is, is tough to find. It's not in great condition. It has some ticks. You know, it, it probably graded like a 9.0, 9.2 maybe, but the ticks are there. Uh, beautiful cover, and it goes for about, it goes for about 20. It goes for about 20. Uh, finally found this one. I knew I would ninja pick that for a dollar. DMZ number 14. Uh, first preview of Scalped in Comics, found that there. Um, I don't really like to pick up Batman stuff for a dollar, just but that was such a nice book. Detective Comics, Batman, uh, uh, featuring Batman, of course, number 671. Nice, nice cover. Before Watchmen, one of six, The Comedian, Brian Azzarello and J.G. Jones. Beautiful cover, love that one. Um... Shout out to uh, Jared Osborne for putting me onto this series. Uh, Optic Nerve, this is number seven by Adrian Tomaini. Um, awesome book. Awesome. It's cool stuff. Um, trying to work on that run. It's a quarterly production, so it doesn't come out often, but it's really cool. Suiciders, number one. Uh, pick this up also. Swamp Thing number one, Len Wein and, and the Kelly Jones. Uh, I wanted to get that on my pull, but I ended up not. And uh, all for a dollar. Last book, no, second last book, Background number 42, uh, Livewire. Now, someone correct me. This is this this a first appeared? What I don't know what this is. This is the first Livewire in the new 52? or in, it's, This is something. Put it in the comments if you know. And uh, they had a whole run of new X-Men, and I thought... You know, they were going to have the first Phantom X. They didn't, but they had number 129, which is the second appearance of Phantom X. So, uh, I'm really happy. I hope it didn't run through them too quickly. Uh, but that's my haul, guys. And uh, I appreciate uh, you watching. Got some good books coming up in the next few videos. Bear with me and uh, wish everyone a good weekend. Talk to you.